Hi viewers, Bossman here every 10th. In this video I just want to discuss uh, the sensitivity uh, setting in the tuning menu of the fan attack wheels. This is in relation to the F1 2021 game. So previously I had my degrees of rotation set to 330 degrees for F1 2020. The reason I did that was just to um, try and limit the time that I was crossing my arms over on um, particular corners such as the hairpin at Monaco, also the chicane after the tunnel and also the hairpin at Canada. So after playing F1 2021 for a couple of days um, I went into cockpit view just for something different and that's when I noticed that my um, actual input wasn't matching the animation on the screen. I had my sensitivity set to 360 degrees and the in-game setting was also 360 degrees but the, uh, the animation wasn't matching up and I found that I had to set my sensitivity to 720 degrees to get it to basically match up. Um, it wasn't 100%. After playing around with it a bit more, I found 820 is actually more representative. Um, it matches more closely what the uh, animation is doing. Um, but yeah, I've still stuck with 720. So if you have your sensitivity set to auto, um, you won't encounter this problem. But if you have set a value in your tuning menu, you may want to keep watching. So if you're struggling to place the car exactly where you want it, such as straddling curbs, uh, when you want to widen the corner entry and use all of the track, or just in general if you want to take a corner more smoothly, particularly a tricky corner or a tricky section. So it's really about finding the balance of minimizing the time crossing your arms over, if that's something that worries you versus having more precision, being able to place the car exactly where you want it and most importantly avoiding lap invalidations as I mentioned. So after changing the setting and getting the uh, animation to match my actual input um, I noticed I had more ability to position the car and it made driving so much more enjoyable. So if we stop it here, look at our rotation, so it's about 90 degrees. 90 degrees on the animation and that's yeah so it's not quite 180 on the steering wheel but the animation it is so if we go up to 720 sorry 820 you'll notice that it pretty much matches up exactly so 90 degrees 180. It's actually a little bit more travel in the wheel. Put the sensitivity down to 360. You'll notice that it's 180 degrees there in that position. So not even 90 degrees on the steering wheel is getting 180 degrees on the game. So let's just do a lap on 360 and see the difference in the steering. So you notice the car's a lot more sensitive, like it's real touchy down the straights. smooth on the corners. Obviously I'm not used to this so I'm used to having it on 720 so it's going to be a little bit different. But you get the idea it's much harder to place a car where I want it. So really difficult to place a car there, um, obviously you could get used to it like this, but um, it just makes it much harder in my opinion after I mean, having it on 3, 3.30 I, I think I had it and I got used to it, like going back to 360. 
uh, which is essentially 360 degrees, uh, even though it's 720 on the wheel for some strange reason. So yeah, you get the idea, let's go back to 720. validation there but that's just a driver don't worry about that as you can see the car is a lot more controllable Notice my steering input, so I'll be a lot smoother as well. So I'm going to put the sensitivity setting to auto. That should go of what the um, the in-game setting is set to so let's go uh, change that so if we go down maximum wheel rotation you can see is set at 360 degrees so let's have a look at our animation so basically it's pretty close it's a little bit out So my, my actual wheel is 180 degrees, but it's not quite in the game. So I have to turn it more than 180. So in effect, my wheel is, has to turn more than 360 degrees. But basically the driving shouldn't be any different to uh, how I had it set in the wheel menu. It was 720. So let's do a lap and just uh, see if there is any difference, but as I said, it should be the same. So Monaco is a bit of a tricky one too because you want that um, the corners are so quick and you want that quick reaction time but at the same time there are some tricky corners where you know the walls are that close you want to uh, use all the track and get through the corner as smoothly as you can so it's yeah, it's a sacrifice and uh, you got to work out you know you got to find the balance So this chicane is quite difficult with the higher steering rotation but are uh, these high speed corners and the ones in uh, sector 1 as well uh, a lot easier to navigate. Anyway guys that's about it, I uh, just wanted to do Monaco just to uh, highlight those points that I just mentioned and uh, yeah 
Thanks for watching. See you on the next video. Please like or subscribe. Cheers.